What is up, world? We are live a little early in Savannah, Georgia. It looks like a rainy day, but according to the weather, it's not going to rain until around 3 o'clock, so we'll see about that. We're down on the riverside. Checking out a kind of a river walk shopping area. Got big plans for today. Plan to stream until my gimbal dies or my phone dies. So hopefully a two hour stream. Oh, I like this. It's like driftwood that's being turned into ship boat, ship models. I love that. So this is uh, my first time in Savannah, Georgia. And we're gonna walk around the riverfront first, and then we're gonna go see if we can get lost in the city. It's a historic town with a lot of old buildings and architecture, so that's gonna be the focus of the stream, is looking at the buildings and getting the flavor of the city. But this is a neat place to start. And it was easy to get surface parking for the big truck, which uh, doesn't play well with parking garages. This is kind of a recaptured area. We'll have good, strong signal throughout the stream today. Minimal buffering and lots of fun. This is a cool Starbucks. But welcome. Good to see everybody this morning. Riverside Beer Garden. A little early for a beer garden. Leela, good morning. Good to see you. Well, that's a cool place. Maybe that'll be dinner tonight. A pretzel. Oh, and we've got the District Smokehouse, the Riverside Sushi. Crazy. This is neat. Ravisha, good to see you. Hope you are well. I'm gonna try and hum over the top of that copyrighted music and talk over the top of it so that it doesn't uh, ruin the stream later. La 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 la. Cindy, good morning. Hello, Kaya. Good morning. We are walking in uh, Savannah, Georgia. Oh, here's a cool tug, two cool tugboats coming by. Let me get away from this copyright music and I'll show you. This copyright music is killing me. All right, we're in between two, so hopefully it'll confuse the algorithm. That's pretty neat. Looks like rain, but I think it's gonna hold off. Ravisha, this is a river, but I forgot to look up what river it is. And these are tugboats. And this river pours right out into the Atlantic Ocean. You can see it's a pretty wide river. It kind of looks like a harbor. And I went over this bridge this morning, 
driving in. It was really neat. But we're gonna try and walk until the phone dies today. So I'm hoping to break my record for most people on a stream and also hoping to break my record for longest stream. So we need longer than a two hour stream today. I'm gonna try and do three and we'll see if I have the battery to pull it off. This is a really neat little area. Tugboat's going under the bridge, it's kind of neat. We've got some old barges and things across the river. Not much over there, but a bustling city over here. So, excited to explore. And you can see this is kind of what's in this area. Yes, Savannah River. There we go. You were right, Layla. And we gotta move on because there's copyrighted music being played everywhere. It's a little bit cold out here for We can walk down here and then we'll come back. George, good morning. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, Leela, this is my first time in Savannah. I've been all over Georgia, um, but never out here to Savannah, which is a shame because this is a really cool city. So far what I've seen of it, I really enjoy. And I'm just getting started with the exploration. That's a cool statue. <clears throat> just had a big breakfast. did all the pre-stream things that I need to do to enable me to take a live stream. So excited about that. Oh, this is a cool little panel sculpture here in marble. I'm gonna see if it's plastic or marble. Looks like marble. It is marble. Sparing no expense. And we are at 2,000 steps already today. My goal is to have a 25,000 step day. So, we shall see. Hopefully it goes well. I've got my walking shoes on. But I really enjoy this little waterfront area. I bet it's really cool and active in the weekends and the evenings. So, the record for people in the chat, you guys will have to watch, um, the record is in the chat. And so, I'm hoping we can get to 25 people watching the live stream today, if I just let it go, and keep walking around this cool city. I think we'll get there. Yari, good morning, Yari. Really cool to see you. Yari, we're just getting started. We've got a huge stream planned. We're gonna explore the heck out of this place. Some cool sculptures. It's like a, some cool hotels here. Got a big piece of marble or quartz. Got, uh, got my backpack, 
got my walking shoes, and I'm ready to explore. So far we're on a five day streak of over 10,000 steps and the highest step day on the trip is 28,000 steps. And right now it is seven. And I'll show you where I had breakfast today. It's right down here on this little alleyway. It was pretty cool. Yeah, so this is the little cobblestone street down here that I found breakfast this morning. So we'll walk through here and then we'll start exploring. It's kind of a cool little place. Electric Moon, Sky Top Lounge, tacos and tequila. Penny, Penny, that's awesome. Welcome to the chat. Hope you enjoy and please subscribe if you're new here. Ah, Kaya, that's good information about marble in Georgia. I had no idea. But this is an old uh, Riverside Warehouse District that has been uh, turned into shops and a massive sprawling JW Marriott hotel. The thing is huge. Three blocks. Um, that's where I had breakfast this morning. Two cracked eggs. It was good. It's a giant biscuit. Like a biscuit as big as a softball. That looks like an interesting alleyway there. I think we're gonna keep walking down the street though. Lila, really? I didn't know that. Part of the Brooklyn Bridge came from St. Simon's Island. I, Googled St. Simon's Island yesterday and read a little bit about it. It's a, it looks like a really amazing place. I think you and Joanne were both telling me about that yesterday. A little windy, but I think when we move away from the river, we'll move away from most of the wind noise. That's where I parked the truck over there by that boat. And this is an interesting building here. Side seafood bar and grill and I love this this brick building or the stone building here with the shutters amazing what a cool cool building it's amazing and really cool that they kept most of these buildings intact over the years I thought it was raining for a second but it's just dropping pollen out of these trees Lord you can see the the tracks in the middle of the street here, presumably from uh, the carts they use to unload boats in the harbor, or excuse me, along the riverfront. Let's see, do we go up here? No, I think let's just keep walking the riverfront as long as we can go. See where we are and see how far this goes. Savannah's waterfront. Oh my gosh, look. So we're over here on the left side. 
and let's go all the way down to the green area. Well, let's just go until we can't go anymore. That sounds like the best plan. And then tonight, oh, there's another kind of tour boat here. Looks like they have private rooms too. Wonder if you can cruise for multiple days. That's interesting. Huh. All kinds of cool hotels and restaurants down here. Monica, good to see you. I saw Monica this morning on a walk in Stockholm, Sweden, when I was getting ready to leave the hotel. All right, what is this sculpture? Oh, it's a globe. I love that. And we can see where some of you are on the planet right now on this globe. Oh, it looks like there is a chunk of the globe that is missing on purpose. <laughs> there we go. Well, we can at least see where Monica is way right up there. And you already... The Bohemian Hotel. All right, let's get rolled. Oh, look at the steamboat up here. The Georgia Queen. We gotta go check this out. And we've got a really fancy tugboat too. Looks like over there is the convention center. And somebody's million dollar yacht parked over there. Goodness, that's a pretty one. A little bit unnecessarily large for any human being. Ravisha, you've heard that there is a Savannah Harbor. I would guess it's at the mouth of the river behind us. So, if you look way back down that way, you'll see a whole bunch of cranes in the distance underneath the bridge. That's got to be where the harbor is. Savannah National Wildlife Refuge Excursion. Okay. Ah, and you can take a little boat to a wildlife refuge. That's fun. And here's a ferry. That's cool, the Juliet Gordon Low. That is a cute boat, really neat. Oh, and even more stores and a nice promenade here. This is called City Hall Landing. Oh my gosh. All right, well, Ravisha, you can pause the stream and read this. This looks like the Harbor Expansion Project. So that kind of tells you what's going on. Juliet Gordon Lowe. And then that looks like City Hall right there. And then it looks like we have a Greek restaurant here. The best part of going. And the riverboat ticket office for the Georgia Queen. You guys, you, wait till you see this riverboat. I'm gonna get back up here so I can get a little height and show you this properly. Maybe I should have Greek food for lunch today. You can see the, the tracks are still running along the whole cobblestone street. There we go. How about that? We'll, we'll go back and see if the, the wheel is still intact on the back of the steamship here in a little bit, but man, oh man.
Alright, let's go see if the wheel is still in the back of this steamboat. <coughs> Alright, we've got a candy store here, souvenirs, multiple restaurants, an ice cream store. I'll probably, after the long stream, avail myself of the ice cream store. You guys think the butt, the wheel is still on the back? Is it still a paddle boat? I think that's for decoration only. I could be wrong. Nah, no, that's huge. Well, is that still a functioning paddle? Let's take a look. Looks kind of sus to me. That uh, is not in the water. Can it be lowered? Yeah, it can. Ah, uh, it is. That is definitely still a functioning rear paddle boat. You can see the rest. Uh, I wonder why there's such space between the paddles. Oh, and you can see it spinning a little bit in the wind. I stand corrected. Way to go. Preserving a stern paddle, I believe they're called. Aft paddle. Aft paddle, stern paddle would be on the side. I really enjoyed this dock front. We haven't even gotten into the historic part of the city yet, which is that way. That looks like a popular place to have brunch over here. You guys let me know if we get above 25 people in the chat today. I'd love to celebrate. I should also say we're dangerously close to a milestone, which we may hit on this road trip. We're almost to 950 subscribers, which means of course that we're almost to 1,000 subscribers. And when we hit it, we will do a 1,000 subscriber live stream and I will give away hoodies to lucky winners. I will give away hoodies to lucky winners which I'm very excited about. So you guys can get some free gear from bitofastore.com just for being in the chat on the 1,000 subscriber live stream when we get there. No purchase necessary. And all kinds of other legal jargon. Oh, here's an artist. Beautiful stuff, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can come down to the waterfront in Savannah and get some sweet art. Wow, it just keeps going. This whole river front section is gorgeous. Lots of trucks making their food deliveries to the restaurants here. Looks like we've got an entire Christmas store. 
never really understood the point, but I don't think I'm the audience. Savannah's Candy Kitchen. So that's the second candy store. And it looks like we've got a trolley tour stop up here and a seashell store. Savannah sells seashells by the seashore. Yari says it's a very nice looking place. I agree. I'm having fun. I may like this even a little bit more than Charleston, and I love Charleston. <laughs> Handmade ice cream and gelato. <laughs> Leela, your daughter would live in the Christmas store? Yeah, I think there is a, a huge market for Christmas stuff year round. Um, and I like Christmas. I just, it has to be cold outside and I don't think I can just even think about Christmas. Let's see how far we've made it on the map. Okay, so we just left the yellow district and we're heading to the green and blue. It looks like uh, people are getting on the trolley tour. Bob is your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Interesting. tourist trap. I love it. Oh, we got a marketplace up here. Dockside. All right, Yari votes for a Christmas store as well. I'm the odd one out. Okay, we got to go look over here. <laughs> look at this store. What is in the window here? Do we have little... Dia de los Muertos skeletons. Those little skeletons, is that a thing that I'm not aware of? They look like uh, Funko Pops. That was interesting. Kaya's walking up and down the street. Yeah, I think these are the... Wait a minute. I don't know if that's right. Are they just are they just claiming that they are the home of the chicken finger? That can't be where the chicken finger was embedded. Oh, here comes the trolley. Shall we go check out what's in the River Street Market? George wants a Thanksgiving store. I'd like a 4th of July store. The peanut shop. All right, let's check out the market. T-shirts and some jewelry. Candles. Some 
henna tattoo, so we can get a bit of a wonder henna tattoo. <laughs> It's definitely touristy, but it's really kind of fun. Sunglasses and beef jerky and wallets and wood cut prints. entire historic district today. We're going to get to the Waving Girl fountain or statue and that will be our signal to head up into the historic district. Alright, we're at 14 or 15 people in the live stream. So we're doing good. Hello everyone, if you haven't said hi, make sure you say hi yet. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know you're here. Looks like they're doing some street repair. Which, on a street like this, I can imagine requires a great deal of specialized skill. Yeah, they've got a lot of people here. I'm sure there's a million. George, you can get those figurines on Amazon? Okay. Good. Well, I know then that I don't have to rush back and purchase a bunch of little skeleton figurines. All right. And here's Waving Girl Dock this way. So we're on the right track still. This looks like a park. And I think this is Waving Girl Dock this way. Oh yeah, I can see the statue. Let's go check out the Waving Girl statue and then we'll head up into the historic district. The tree's pretty, look at the blossoms on that tree. Oh, electric company, yeah, Yari, I see it. So they're doing some electrical work. And I don't see any visible power lines, so I guess the power lines are underground here which is why they had all the diggers. Oh yeah, you can see there's the hole in the street where they're going down underneath. All right, here's the Waving Girl statue. <clears throat> and we'll come up here and take one last look at the river before we head in town. All right, what is the Waving Girl statue? Florence Martus. All right, chat, do your thing. Who was Florence Martus? And who is she waving at? What's up, Joanne, welcome. We're in Savannah. All right, chat, Florence Martus. Who the heck is Florence Martus? What is she famous for? And why is she waving? I must know. Let's go take one last look at the river here. And I think this is where we will head up into the historic district. Joanne, it's great to see you today. I hope you're doing well. Looks like the promenade goes on for a little while longer. River, it looks like there is uh, some more harbor area. Soldier, what's up? All right, let us head up out of the riverfront and into the historic district. Ah, Kaya says, 
she loved to greet sailors as they were coming into port. Fantastic. Well, if that's all there is to it, that's a pretty low bar for a, getting a statue, but we'll allow it. Oh, the stairs. Why did it have to be stairs? Oh, stairs with a gate, so we're going around the corner. Looks like we are not allowed to use the stairs. Probably for good reason. That's probably quite a trip and fall hazard. Oh, well, she didn't miss a single ship for 44 years. Okay. That you get a statue for. How can you... <laughs> How can you not miss a single ship with waves? for 44 years. But even if you got like 75% of the ships, I think that's pretty good. You get a statue. For doing anything for 44 years, I think you get a statue. She got a statue and a dock named after her pretty awesome. You can see the Spanish moss in the trees here. It's a kind of a lichen. Oh, this is a pretty park. Emmett Park, it says. Let's walk underneath these uh, trees with the Spanish moss. It's so pretty. Spanish moss is. It kind of hangs down from the trees. And I guess, without further ado, let's go check out Historic Savannah. And I think so far the signal strength has been pretty good, so I'm encouraged. As long as the rain holds off, it's going to be a great day. And we've got the light. Let's roll. Steps check, we just rolled over 5,000 steps. Not getting hit by a car check. That car that just almost hit me, that you guys didn't see, did not hit me. All right, so all I know is that most of the historic district is is to just kind of attack it in a grid pattern. Just kind of look at the old architecture with you all. But it's a really incredibly well preserved downtown historic area. And there's going to be some visual overload here. Oh yeah, it begins. Look at these old homes. Let's go into Washington Square here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this place. The old trees are crazy cool.
it's tempting to walk down every single street, but we'll never get done that way. But every one of these is pretty amazing. Oh, look at that, it just keeps going that way too. All right, we're gonna keep going straight ahead. What street is this? The cross street is Congress and we're on Houston. So we're gonna walk down Houston Street until it looks like it isn't historical anymore. <laughs> when we see the first McDonald's, we'll turn around. I'm sorry it's not a bright blue sky today, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, look at this one. I love that. The palm tree out front. trucks. George are cracking me up as usual. Hmm. I think we'll go one more block here. See if it gets historic or non-historic. And then we'll go to the right a little bit. Oh, cute puppy dog. Still historic. green square, so okay. Oh, and greenhouse. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. Oh, you're all good. Hey, what's up? That's Otis. <laughs> the dog's name was Otis. All right, we've got the African Baptist Second Church. Parks are amazing, so they've got apparently little squares all the way up through the historic district. The Purple House is kind of cool too. And we'll cut out this way so that that guy doesn't blow leaves in our face. I hope everybody is absolutely loving all these historic homes. Oh, that one with the red door is cool down there. Look at this old house. The closing cottage. George, funny you should mention ghost hunting. This is uh, one of the most haunted cities in the United States. And there are tons and tons and tons of ghost tours in this city. It's 
so I don't know if we'll, oh. <sighs> we always stop the stream when we find beautiful Land Rovers. Like this one. That's a Thule tent on top. It is beautiful. It is epic. It is out of our price range. Oh, uh, Ravisha, I'm sorry that there's some stream lagging. Hopefully that clears up. I haven't gotten any bad signal warnings, so hopefully it isn't too bad. We'll go up another block and then head to the right. Oh, look at this street. Spanish moss blowing in the wind is really neat. Monica, are you a professional ghost hunter? Yeah, apparently there's a lot of haunted buildings. I don't. I'm not one to believe in ghosts, but there's definitely a lot of history here and there's a palpable sense of history. And I do think you can feel. Oh yeah, I hear the train too. Oh, and here's a fun little park with basketball goals and a gazebo, Crawford Square. We'll hang a right here, and we'll head down this next street. It's a huge brick building over there on the other side of the park. George, I like that. From now on, whenever there is buffering, we'll just blame it on Ravisha's device. right here. It's a cool place to play basketball. And cool azalea blooms. And we're just walking down the middle of the street. So hopefully no cars come. Oh wow. You can see the trees blooming, dropping their petals. It's not exactly Sakura, but Spanish moss viewing could become the next big thing. Joanne, no problem. It's going to be a long stream, so hop in and out whenever you can, and you can go back and watch later. I know you do, and I appreciate you so, so much. I hope you have an awesome day. Oh, I love these brick buildings. The blue one here is great. It's got a facade on the front. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at the different colors. It's like a rainbow. Well, a pastel rainbow, but isn't that neat? And look at the tower up here. Let's go check that out. It's not a rainbow. What is that, Neko wafers? If you grew up in the south, you'll agree. That looks like Neko wafer colors. Monica says this is a really nice place. I totally agree. I, I am really enjoying all the history and the old buildings. 
and having a nice walk so far. There's a old sign for you need a biscuit company. Some of these buildings, like these two brick ones here, are newer. But they've been designed to fit in with the overall look and feel of the neighborhood, which is neat. Which way are you going, brother? Do your thing. Looks like the bike lane goes on all the way down that way forever. That's cool. There's that building up here with the tower. Looks like uh, the shell of a building, but maybe some of it's gone. Let's go check. It says the Savannah something. I'm not quite sure what this is. Looks like the ruins of a cathedral. Almost like they have in England, where the roofs are gone and some of the walls remain. Oh, the Savannah College of Art. That's not what I was expecting. That's, that's pretty neat. We'll go over there and see if we can get in. Ravisha wants to know if anybody lives here. Yeah, um, but I think they're at work because it's a, what is it, Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? Is it Wednesday? What is it? It's Tuesday. Oh, that's always a good sign. I love it when I've been on vacation long enough to forget what day it is. So I think everybody's working. And I'm trying to cross the street, but this tour bus is going slow and talking about what that building used to be. Tell me what it is. Wow. All right, you guys think we can get into this building? I doubt it. We'll try. Uh, big gate. Big gate with a padlock. Hmm. Let's try the other way. Garfield in the chat. What is up? Good to see you, sir. Hope everything is well in Hong Kong today. We'll try and sneak in this way. At least point the gimbal in and get a look at what's in this old building. Ah, uh, it's just caution this way. This is caution, it doesn't say do not enter. Ah, I'll be careful. All right, what's going on here? What's up, Brandon? We're looking inside. That is so cool. It looks like it's been turned into an event space. So that's pretty neat. Ray would be so disappointed. I completely ignored those cones. <sighs> that's disrespectful to those cones. Monica. Have an awesome day. Thanks for stopping by. Always a pleasure to see you. Always a pleasure. Let's keep heading down this street. I see some kind of local neighborhood bistro up here. How's it going? What's that? Yeah, I took a peek at what the building was. 
What is the building? It's called the table up there. Like, it's something called the bed or whatever. Like, it's not allowed to put it. My apologies. Uh, I just got scolded for going up those stairs. He told me there was caution tape there. And he explained it to me, which was nice of him. He didn't have to do that. He told me that uh, there's caution tape because things may fall on people's heads. So, I got the scolding that I deserve. Let's go this way. Yeah, sometimes we break rules, but it didn't say do not enter. So I skate on a technicality. It did say caution and I was cautious and we survived. And that gentleman was just doing his job. So kudos to him. Let the record show that that gentleman did his job. Oh, look at this church steeple up here. That's pretty. He must have been watching on camera too because he came out of nowhere. Oh, wow, that church is massive. All right, we're going around to look at this church. And it looks like there's a park over here. All right, church first, then park. See the park over here? Oh, maybe it's a cemetery. I don't know. We'll go this way. <clears throat> ah, poor signal again. I hate that. Yeah, the church looks really cool. It's over here beyond this row of houses. And it is so massive. It's enormous. You don't see something like that every day. And something I have seen a lot of in the South is these stairs that have ivy on the steps. And I like that. I think it's a really neat touch. It certainly adds a lot to the character. street and go look at this church. Ooh, We're at the one hour mark already and the 7,000 step mark as well. So that's fantastic. I just saw the word Otis on a van that went by, so this is an all Otis stream. That's the second Otis we've seen. Is it some kind of Otis omen? All right, we'll go look at this church now. Going right, you're going straight. All right, you're going straight. Maybe I should have hopped on one of these buses and gone around. Probably would have had a bad stream. Looks like we have accidentally discovered a major, major uh, tourist site here with this church. Oh wow, you guys. This is gorgeous. Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. So, hold on. This is going to be tough to take in. I'm going to have to zoom for widescreen.
Wow, amazing. Should I leave it in wide angle for a while? Do you guys like wide angle better or do you want me to go back to the regular? And the wind is really picking up. I think we can go in, but I'm pretty sure I would not have a signal in there. Lafayette Square. Oh, this is uh, this is named after the Marquis de Lafayette. Wow, that is pretty. Absolutely amazing. All right, we're gonna peek our head in and see if I can get you guys a view without losing the signal too badly. signal held then you can see the inside of the cathedral let me know I hope you saw that it was really pretty in there Excuse oh you're me. completely oh. fine don't even worry about it okay Oh, good. You can see inside. That's great. Ravisha says, not praying inside. Not today, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. If we had gone any further into the building, as well built as that thing is, we would have lost our signal for sure. It might have even dropped the connection of the stream totally, which would have been a disaster. How about this place? So beautiful. Yes, we go this way. I have no idea. I'm glad we found that church though. I should just follow that tour guide. <laughs> just pretend we paid. It looks like we have a Girl Scout troop ahead of us. <laughs> probably can't join that tour. I think I'd stand out like a sore thumb in that one. I'd have to go on the bike tour. I'll have to look for the gimbal tour. Uh, this, this one is a museum. I 
I don't know if you heard that. The Girl Scout troop leader said, um, no, we don't need to stop for an eat, for a snack. Um, we're eating lunch in two hours. We've only walked two miles and you are not dying. That was funny. <laughs> oh, here's a nice little courtyard and garden. I'd say that's how you know you were rich back in the day when you could afford to not build a house and just build a house-sized garden next to a house in downtown. Oh, well, look at this. That's what they were going to see. How about that? Well, that's pretty neat. So that is the first Girl Scout in the United States, and they were going, I guess, on a pilgrimage. <laughs> pretty neat. Juliet Lowe, founder of the Girl Scouts. Oh, I see a special building up here. Holy cow. old brick building but that's not the one I'm interested in. Check out this yellow one beyond it. Oh check out these flower blooms. <laughs> Yari that was a that was a big typo. <laughs> we will not cook the Girl Scouts. Alright check out this building. This, this is even maybe better. I don't know. Is this better than the cathedral? Look at this. What is this thing? That is the Scottish Rite Temple is what it's called. So I guess Scottish Rite Temple is, uh, is that like a Masonic Lodge? Like the Templars? city is so cool. There's something to see around every corner. Yeah, I think I like this even better than Charleston. What do we have here? Masonic. Yeah, that's what I was when I, that's what I was trying to say instead of Templar. Yeah, Templar or the Knights Templar. I thought that was the Knights Templar. To the heroic memory of Sergeant William Jasper, who, through more, though mortally wounded, rescued the colors of his regiment in the assault on the British line of 1779. Wow. So this was built in 1879 to honor somebody who died in 1779. That's amazing. There's a, another horse tour over there. This is Madison Square. I see a sign over there. We have another church over here through the mosque, but let's go check out this building again. The Scottish Rite Temple, which is now a hotel.
Oh, here we go. Look, Freemasons. We've got a sign. You want me to go wide angle? Okay. All right. Ancient and accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry. That really pops on this lens. <laughs> Savannah, Georgia. Freemasonry. Doesn't really tell a lot about the building. You got it. <laughs> All right, that's a cool building right there, but we'll go back here and look at the Scottish Rite Temple in wide angle. Wow. That's pretty amazing. All right, the Freemasons. Oh yeah, you can see the Masonic symbol up top. Let's see if I can zoom in. You can see it. there on the detail wow I'm having a lot of fun on this stream you guys St. John's Church of Savannah over here. See the steeple up there through the tree branches. March to the sea. That was a very famous um, part of the Civil War. So the Union marched south to Savannah and they completed their march all the way through Confederacy, Confederate territory and just really broke the will of the South. Um, so destroyed Atlanta um, and then marched to Savannah and busted through Savannah, destroyed railroads, destroyed all the factories, destroyed every single part of the Confederate ability to wage war and basically ended the Civil War for all intents and purposes so so much of the South is totally immersed in Civil War history we saw where the Civil War well I saw you haven't seen because I haven't posted the video I went to Fort Sumter where the Civil War began and the first shots were fired of the Civil War um, and now we're down in Savannah where Sherman marched through the south and destroyed everything. So this is his headquarters when he was in Savannah for a year. Beautiful, beautiful park. I guess we walk through this way. Oh wow, we've got the Stations of the Cross here. That's interesting iconography.
All right, I don't know which way to go from here. Hmm. Let's go up a block this way. Looks like a bunch of people waiting in line or on a tour up here, one block ahead. Check it out. Oh, this is a pretty building too. Cranmer Hall. It's a church building. Hmm. It looks more like they're waiting than like they're listening to a tour guide. We'll go up to this street and we'll hang a right. Oh, I like this little brick alley here. This looks like an old service station. Been converted into a boutique. So pretty. What do you think? Should we just ask? Let's just ask. <laughs> so it is a restaurant. That is quite a line for lunch. Look at it. Wow. Holy crap. That must be a good restaurant. The Wilkes House. Wow. That is crazy. I wonder why, who knows? I guess it's good. I waited in a really long, insanely long line last night for food, so I'm not about to do that again. Food was really good last night, I gotta say. George, I wonder if the gift shop back at the first Girl Scouts headquarters had a cookie store. Now that would be worth staying in line for. These buildings are so great. And it looks like it's raining, but it's just... My allergies aren't too bad. Uh, and while nobody's coming, let's just walk down the middle of the street here. See if a security guard comes and yells at us. I love the brick streets. Let's go this way again. Oh, 
wait, there's a big park up here. We'll go check it out and then we'll come back this way. You guys, I don't, I, where are we? <laughs> where even are we right now? I've completely lost track of where the truck is and where the river is. This place is so cool. We're at uh, about 90 minutes on today's stream. We're definitely gonna break the record. I haven't gotten a low power warning yet. The gimbal looks like it's dying faster than the phone today, but I've got a backup gimbal. That's one of my new tricks. I bought a second gimbal, just in case. Looks like rain, but it hasn't started yet. Chatham Square. This city, you guys. This whole city is so pretty. Look at these trees. All right, that might be a thumbnail right there. Uh, Ravisha, two hours and five minutes, I believe, was my longest live stream ever. I'd have to go back and check. I might be a little bit wrong by that, but it was just... Yeah, Yari, the, the gimbal is much better today. It was, it was a complete hot wreck the other day. I don't know what was going on with it. Oh, I like the, house, the row of houses over here. Look at those. says those are some old trees. Uh, I totally agree. It's got to be hundreds of years old. The parks in the city are so pretty. The city itself is so gorgeous. Ravisha, we can do it. We can do it. We can break the record. And it just keeps on going. So I think it's still the historic district down that way and down that street. Let's go this way. It looks better to me. George, uh, yeah, that hat could have been blown off that guy by a ghost at the Scottish Temple. I hadn't considered the possibility, but it was unexplained phenomena. And the hat was, I guess, a UFO. No, an IFO, because we knew it was a hat. So it was an identified rolled over 8,500 steps, which means that we hit four miles. Hmm. Let's go this way. We're at the edge of the historic district. I look down a street and I see more brick streets. And I still want to go back to where we saw that cemetery. Daryl, hello, welcome to the stream. Glad you could join us. We're uh, in Savannah, Georgia in the historic district today. 
as evidenced by this trash can. Oh, here's another church, I think. Did we miss a church earlier? No, it's not a church. It's called Pike Hall. We'll go down a couple more blocks here. Oh, there's another pretty street right up here. Yeah, really nice. Brick sidewalks. More bikes for the bike convention, George. It is a pretty place. It's gray today. I'd rather have a bright sunny day for sure, but certainly adds a different ambiance to the trees and the Spanish moss for it to be a gray overcast day. <coughs> May have spoke too soon about the allergies. Got a tickle in my throat now. Some beautiful old homes. Another little square down this way. It's an overwhelming amount of historical buildings. Most towns maybe have a quarter of this many houses in their historic downtown. It's like they've preserved everything. This is Pulaski Square. George, you're hungry? Uh, I would say so, it's breakfast time. Wow. Oh, they're re rebuilding one over here. Looks like a lot of money goes into the preservation. Yeah, I guess if you're in the historical building preservation business, this is where you want to be. Or the historical tree preservation business. Is that a business? I like this blue one over here.
Wow. I guess we go straight ahead. Oh, look. There's the church we saw earlier. So yeah, we don't go that way because we've been that way. We go this way. Yeah, I really like that blue one. This looks like a pretty big street up this way. Uh, four lane road we passed earlier. Maybe we can walk down this way and try and find that cemetery or large park or whatever it was. So tonight we're staying outside of uh, Savannah and then tomorrow we're heading down the coast. We're heading down the coast to, oh, there's a cool fountain down this way. We're going to the fountain. Thank you. That one's cool too. Brandon says, I wonder how much the maintenance costs for these big houses. Uh, I would, I would guess astronomical. There's some kind of old building. I guess old is a relative thing. Looks like a municipal building of some kind. Hmm. All right, let's walk through this square, Orleans Square. Yeah, this is definitely a high rent area. <laughs> Jane, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. German Memorial Fountain. Jane, I am having a good road trip, but I'm not having a road trip with my family. Oh, that's a, all right, thumbnail right here. Right here, thumbnail, boom, done. Uh, left my family at home. It's a controversial choice, right? I don't know if I've talked about this on the live stream before. Maybe I have. So if I repeat myself, then uh, I apologize. But uh, once a year, I take a trip that's just me. And it's kind of a mental health thing. Where I just go off and 
go camping, go traveling, explore someplace I've never been before, just by myself and recenter myself for the year ahead. I highly recommend solo travel as a way to center yourself and reprioritize, make some conscious decisions to let go of some of the things that you've accumulated, things or responsibilities, shed some of those, prune your life, make room for new things, and recommit to the things that matter most to you. And that's what I use my annual solo trip for. So I can make sure that every year the year with intention and with purpose. And that's allowed me to keep evolving as a person and never stay stagnant. Recommit with energy to the things that mean the most, whether it be career or family, passions, projects. The space allows me to slow down enough to make it okay to quit things. So I think from here, have we been to that square up there yet? I don't know. Let's go check it out and we'll see if we've been to that one. I don't think we have. Ah, Jane, no, we, by we, I meant you. <laughs> All of us here in this chat, everybody that is along for the ride, exploring this really cool city with me. And I hope you guys are loving it. Absolutely loving it. I should, this is a great time for me to say, if you're interested in, let me know. You can drop me a line on Instagram. Um, I'm looking for about four more mods as we continue to grow. We have not been to this one. This is so cool. Wow. Oh, man. Oh. Yari, we are 100% lost. But look at these places. I don't know if you guys heard that tour guide, but you're getting exactly the same tour that they got because he said, that's a really cool church right there. <laughs> uh, Jane, you're on a work break. Thanks for spending it with us. That's amazing. I like that. Look at that building. All right, let's see what square this is. Besides beautiful square. Really cool church right there. <laughs> uh, James Edwards Oglethorpe. I think he was that. Looks like a school group up here. Lions. You guys know I love lions. That is a really long. The great soldier, eminent statesman, and famous philanthropist, General James Edward Oglethorpe. Oh, he founded the colony of Georgia.
Oh, we've got a theater over here too. And we've got a coffee shop. Gallery Espresso. I kind of want a, I kind of want a coffee. I don't want to lose the signal though. So we'll keep walking. We'll get a coffee at the very end of the stream down by the river. We're definitely going to set the record for the longest live stream on Bit of a Wander's channel ever. Fire Street Food. All right, that place looks cool. Oh, uh, here's a big theater up here, too. And there's a dude with a flag. That can't be easy. That dude waving the flag. The drag on that flag's gotta be crazy. Uh, Yari, yes, definitely a proud American. Um, but yeah, biking with a giant flag like that's got to be really hard. The farmer's market? No, Parker's market. <laughs> that's one letter different. <laughs> Parker's market. It's two letters different. <laughs> I just can't read. I've been walking too long. Parker's market, urban gourmet. That doesn't look like a historic building. But I think that's the park over there. That we were trying to get to earlier. So we'll head up this way and check out the, I think it's a cemetery. Oh, the wind is really picking up as we get towards the cemetery. Definitely a different vibe over here. Let's go this way. I think we can get in to the cemetery from the other side. to jump over a giant puddle all right we're cranking oh there's the church again okay so yeah this is the same cemetery we saw earlier which means we're walking away from the truck right now so i've got my bearings again there's the church up that way 
let's figure out how to get into this cemetery. That is a beautiful one. And we will be very, very respectful on the stream. Right. One hour and 50 minutes. We'll start uh, heading back towards the river and we'll definitely get as close to two and a half hours long on the stream as we can. Definitely breaking records today. I don't think we got over 20 people in the chat though. So we didn't break that record. Jane, back to work for you. Glad you could make it for a little bit of the stream. It's wonderful to see you. If you're new here and watching the stream, make sure you say hi to everybody. It's an awesome community. And we'd love to meet you. Here's the entrance and a cool playground. All right, let's explore this historic old cemetery. Daryl says, when you grow one hundred, when you reach one hundred thousand or one thousand subs, it grows exponentially. Cool. I'm looking forward to that. You guys will always be the core community for sure. Truly beautiful. These graves are so old that uh, the dates have faded, been eroded off. 1841, Marianne, wife of Moses. Kaya loves old cemeteries. I do too. Certainly certainly makes you appreciate the history of the country and our communities. It gives you a sense of perspective as well. commemorating. Georgia's first official historian. Oceanic steamship.
Oh wow. Died in a duel. Glad we don't have you could be challenged to a duel and shot for something as simple as, you know, crossing caution tape. George's first newspaper publisher. Certainly beautiful and spacious. Pretty impressive. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was definitely interesting. All right, we continue. Another row of homes there through the Spanish moss. Not so many um, graves in that cemetery. Um, He thinks that was uh, important people. Oh no, I'm getting. I'll try to keep moving here. Sorry. Hopefully the signal doesn't get too bad. There's a neat beat. It's like a Thai restaurant. It's kind of middle of the road parking here. Yeah. And an old uh, bell monument. Maybe from an old church tower or from an old city hall. station. And I'm no expert, but uh, I would think with all these wood houses, this is definitely a place where you would want extra fire protection. Wow, these old houses are pretty. Wow, can't believe we've wandered through this city for two hours now. And not. How fun. Thanks. Walk. I've absolutely had a blast with all of you. And we're going to keep going. I'm going to try and get to two and a half hours. So far, no. That's a good sign. Or I just jinxed us, one or the other.
Wow. Some huge old homes. Just gonna get fancier and fancier. Wow, look at this. Wow, it's gonna be hard to see. Some kind of old school. And here's another church up here. What does that tour guy say? It's a cool church. There you go. It's a cool church. Wow, you can't barely see it. There you go. Boom. Made a church up here for you guys. Looks like a nice restaurant over here, Collins Quarter, Collins Quarter Cafe and another historical marker. And a really nice square up here. Let's see what this marker is for. Wow, that's kind of cool. Robert Burns. I think my lasting memory of this city is going to be the trees. The buildings are impressive. I think I'll remember the trees. And the squares, the little parks. Oh, there it is. It's the Girl Scout cookie store. I was joking, but it's real. Shops. Up here. Yeah, There's a big old marble building over here. Courthouse, maybe? Oh, wow, look at this. Earth one. That says Chatham County Courthouse. Ah, an old courthouse. Now it's an administrative legislative center. Ah, Karina has joined the chat. In memory of Tomo Chichi, the Miko of the Yamacraws, companion of Oglethorpe. Oh, ah, cool. The Native American of the Yamacraws. So Miko must be chief, I think, the Yamacraw Indians. If I'm butchering that, I apologize. Leela says it's ready to rain in Augusta. Okay. So yeah, it's gonna rain on me in a little bit then. There's another monument. Right square. Oh, this is Tomochichi's grave right here. 
we're going to learn about Como Chichi. Co-founder of Georgia with Oglethorpe, good friend to the English, acted as an interpreter, lived to 84 years old. He visited the English court, received by the king and the Archbishop of Canterbury. He died in 1793, 1739. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Well, I certainly learned something. I try to learn something every stream. We have all learned about the life of Tom Hello, hello, Karina. We are over two hours into this stream and we're gonna break a record today for the longest stream ever on the channel. Man, it looks like it keeps going that way. That way is a parking garage. Ah, oh, here's another horse and carriage with some azaleas. That's pretty. Everybody is advertising to the Girl Scouts. It must really be like a Girl Scout trail. What's up, man? <laughs> Soda pop shop. Barber shop. Got a Savannah tourism store. The Savannah Bananas. That must be their baseball team. All right, where do we go from here? Oh my gosh. So now we're into like city instead of houses. And I don't think we're going that way. Well, I guess we could go that way. But that looks like a hot mess. Let's go this way. Looks like shopping district goes this way. Hold your horse's car. <laughs> Kaya, I think that was a little bit of clever branding for a boot company. Head. We go to the Flying Monk Noodle Company. Biscuits, rice, biscuits and donuts. All right, this place looks popular. Rightly so. Place smelled good. It was a spice. So a lot of cool stuff on this street. Yari, yeah, I think uh, we've done we've done downtown Savannah justice, and we're not even done yet. McGuffin. When they were coming to Richmond. Long time no see, McGuffin. Fire all the fucking 
Uh, coffee shop. That was somebody enjoying yeah. their coffee. Let's see, it's a French pastry shop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and here we go. The Coffee Fox. Espresso, pastries, craft beer and wine, and a precariously perched sign. Should we try and get a coffee? Looks like there's a bit of a line. We'll keep going. We'll get coffee at the end of the stream to celebrate. McGuffin, how are you? Long time no see. Good to have you in the stream. This is a cool little section of downtown, isn't it? I don't. I'm so sorry. I thought I actually had some change for once, um, but I put it in my truck. Oh, look at the tap handles here. That's kind of cool. Kind of a cool place. It's like a little mall. See a Gap and a Banana Republic. Fascinating. So they turned their main street into an outdoor shopping mall. Good strategy. And it preserved the whole rest of the area for the historic zone. McGuffin, I'm doing great. Oh, I hope work was good today. Good. Garfield, Yari's typos are on brand. We would never want to get rid of Yari's typos. It's part of the culture of the channel. Don't go, car, don't go, don't go, don't go. All right, we've got a pub up here and an Urban Outfitters and a popcorn store and a Maple Street Biscuit Company. And I see some golden arches too. bubble tea 115 flavors of popcorn you've got to be kidding no they weren't kidding that's a lot of popcorn Wow, this shopping area just keeps going and going and going. There is a kilt store. A Scottish kilt store. Very interesting place to put a kilt store, I guess. Urban Outfitters. A frozen yogurt store. Mickey D's, an old historic McDonald's. Well, a McDonald's in a historic building. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Not a historic McDonald's. We've got a uh, vineyard vines. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You wanted me to go in the popcorn store? I should have asked. I'm sorry, I just saw the messages. So sorry, so sorry. Maybe if this is the end of the street, I'll walk back. Okay. 
I'll walk back to the popcorn store. And I'll ask if I can come inside. George is gonna go silent. And I'm not gonna walk because I was hit by a car. Pay attention, pay attention. Looks like they've got a glazed pull-apart donut and a shamrock shake. I'll do it, I'm curious too. And I wonder if I can get a small popcorn. That might be hard to eat. But I could I could get their smallest popcorn. That's a neat little treat. I can hold it with my gimbal hand. I'm curious. We'll check it out. Looks like they're gonna take a while. So we'll get walking, but I hope you guys got to see. Oh, we're up to 18. You guys let me know if we get over 20 people in the chat and we'll throw a party. What's up, Joanne? Welcome back. We are at uh, two hours and 15 minutes on the live stream. And we have broken the all-time record for longest stream on Bit of a Wander. And you guys were a part of it, so thank you so much for that. Alright, let's go down this way. See what's down here. Eventually down here is the river walk. City Market. George, that sounds delicious for your breakfast. Looks like we've got a rooftop bar up there. I like this little part of the city too. All kinds of old stores. I bet this was a lively scene back in the 1800s. stores. Oh wow, look at this. There's a little walking only street. Let's walk up and down this. jerky outlet. <laughs> oh, and another square up here. Looks like a wine tasting room. This looks like it's called City Market, this whole area. Art and restaurants. 
Pak. We've got another monument over here. Vinny Van Gogo's Pizzeria. <laughs> Ice cream, gelato. Looks like there's a place you can buy tiny dogs, apparently. But maybe they brought those with them. Used to be on the Daryl, have I? That's fantastic. Good news. Rolling towards a thousand, like a steamroller. Check out this little walkway. Looks like a cool restaurant or two over here. Prohibition Museum. The cafe at City Market. Here, the Wild Wing Cafe. Oh, and a big, huge square up here. Massive. Wow. Looks like there's an underground parking garage here, too. Gifts on Ellis, Le Bon, lots of cool stuff, lots of cafes too. Daryl, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate seeing you here. Coco and Moss. Oyster bar over there. Wow. So much to see, I don't even know where to go. Another taco place over here. For those wondering, we just hit 14,000 steps, which means that we have walked a little over six and a half miles. Today. Little Duck Diner. That place looks cool. This looks like the bar and restaurant area for sure.
cornerstone minerals and natural history. Interesting. Let's go down here. It looks like some big marble buildings down here. Ooh, I like that. Yari maybe wanders of the world. buildings are. It looks a little bit more official over here. So maybe we've got some uh, banks and government buildings. United. Could be anything. Oh yeah, it's a bank. Let's walk through this park together. It looks beautiful. Karina wonders if it's noon here. Yep, it's about to turn noon. It's 11.59 a.m. Oh, there's the church bells. All the bells in town will go off at noon. Lots of bells. You can hear them all over the distance. Nathaniel Green, born in Rhode Island, died in Georgia, friend of Washington. City Hall. So it looks like we're in a bit of a business and government center now. go down a few more blocks and then we'll head over to the river again because um, some of you didn't see the river at the start of the stream. What a pretty city. Oh my gosh, we're about to hit two and a half hours. Amazing. Loving it. Thank you everyone for joining and staying. It is lunchtime. I gotta find some lunch. I had a big breakfast though. This biscuit at this breakfast place was like softball sized, cantaloupe sized almost. It was a little much. Ooh, it got windy. Should we go that way? Yeah, let's do it. Let's check out this way. building with the columns is. Another bank maybe? That says Freemasons Hall up there, the red one. says Savannah Area Chamber. Oh. I'll take this 
one is now the Chamber of Commerce, whatever it used to be. with its own kind of flavor and flair. River Street Place. There's the Capitol Dome. I guess we go this way. And then we go this way. I guess let's go this way. Oh, I just got the 20% battery warning. <laughs> Hilarious. So we still got a little bit more time. I think if we go down this hill, we would end up back down by the waterfront. But let's not do that quite yet. like a cousin of Karina. Look up and thanks for joining. It was so awesome to see you. We'll see you soon. Thanks for coming. Oh, these bridges are cool. Let's go over these bridges. Wow. Oh, and you can see the river with a tugboat going by. How cool is this? I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Looks like we've got padlocks on the bridge for love. Pretty neat. George wants to make it three hours. We probably can. I'm gonna stop for coffee at the very end of the stream, and so I don't mind sitting down and talking for a little bit. We're going to walk back to the waterfront. Um, there was a really neat Starbucks right down by the water. And so I'm going to go back down there and get some coffee. Ooh, windy. And if we set up the, the phone, whoa, really windy. that wind is any indication. Let's go down this way. Maybe some of the wind will be blocked. Whew, that was intense. Totally fun. I can say hello and look out at the water. You ain't got no cigarette here, you man. I don't smoke. Oh. Sorry, man. A seashell shop. I remember the seashell shop by the seashore. Easy for me to say. 
Wow. This is all very old stuff. <laughs> this is a very uneven street. I'm trying not to fall. Look at how old these cobblestones are. Oh, here's a popcorn truck. <laughs> Savannah, the popcorn city. There's the river. It's called the Savannah River. store. It smells great. It smells absolutely great. And here's the Christmas store, so we're back to where we started the street. Let's keep walking. hoping we can make it back to the Starbucks down by the waterside without plugging the phone in. <laughs> Don't buy these tickets. Good, let's wait. Shrimp factory. We're not going to the wine tasting thing. That's <laughs> all <laughs> Wow. Hmm. There's the Georgia Queen steamboat we saw earlier, and this restaurant looks like it's packed. Wow, so many people out and about. It really is cool down here. I think you're gonna have to wait for uh, the channel to grow up. That's hilarious. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a few thousand more people before we get troublemakers in the chat, except for George. down there. much going on. It's really, really busy down here. And there's like one candy store for every five people. There's a Greek restaurant I was looking at earlier.
Let's see if we can get any cool seafood. May come back and get some fresh olives for lunch. Hyatt Regency goes over the street here. Hopefully we don't lose signal. Actually, we'll go this way so we don't lose signal. Looks like people are getting ready to go out on the riverboat. And this is where we started the stream and so we're about two blocks from the Starbucks and I'm gonna get a cup of coffee cold brew and sit down and rest my feet after 15,000 steps and seven and a quarter miles so that's how far we walk today seven mile walk through the streets of uh, historic Savannah Hello, Seagull. Hello, Seagull again. It's a rerun. I already saw that Seagull. set up the camera on a gimbal excuse me not on a gimbal what's the word I'm looking for tripod I'll have some coffee with you guys and see if there's anything you want to chat about before we wrap up the stream we're at two hours and 45 minutes so we'll make it a three-hour stream and set the new record really high and hard to hit hopefully there's a patio seat at the Starbucks I hadn't thought about that it's so busy but we can find a place in the park to sit We'll find some place. Ah, okay, so that guy was talking. And he said that these are cruise ships and they cruise up and down the coast from Jacksonville to Charleston and back. And they stop at these towns that we're stopping at, frankly. So that's pretty neat. I bet they're pretty expensive though. That's a big old warehouse. Here's a pretty little park. I like that model of the ship. It does look a little bit like rain though. American Cruise Lines. There's the Marriott, has a rooftop patio. I bet that's a nice hotel on the inside. All right, we're almost to the Starbucks. One more block. And look at all the big ships down here under the bridge. Wow. wow.
so pretty. Yeah, we're gonna get three hours, George. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? This is really nice over here. All right, oh, and there's plenty of tables open. Plenty of tables. What should I get? I'll get a cold brew. That is maybe the nicest Starbucks I've seen. Well, except for that big giant one I went to in Chicago. And this is a national brand, so I won't I won't film inside. I'll point it at the floor. Sorry guys. Looks like we aren't going to Starbucks. They were not very eager to help us out, so we'll just get a table down here. We'll try someplace else. Didn't want to make you guys wait anymore. Goodness. All right, how about one of these places? extra open. Uh, but it, there's copyrighted music. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. So, no coffee for us. But, we'll come down here and sit down and rest for a minute. Slow country seafood, seat a table, oysters, cold beer. Looks like a cool place. District seafood. All right, we'll walk down to the end here and we'll chat for a little bit and then we will wrap up the stream. And then I will get a cold beverage and something to eat. Looks like we lost a few people there. Sorry, that was a little bit boring there. Unanticipated, unanticipated. Oh, what a walk. So I've got to say, this may be one of my favorite live streams we've ever done. The city was beautiful. 
tons to look at. Lots of historic buildings, lots of cool restaurants, lots of people watching. And 16,000 steps ish, seven and a half miles, almost eight. And we're gonna have to figure out uh, what else there is to see around this city. I feel like I've done downtown justice. I wonder if there's any like natural wonders or parks or anything around here that I can go take a look at. But uh, this was fun. I think of all the cities we've been to so far, Savannah's my favorite. It's got a distinct flavor. It's not overwhelmingly large. It's not overwhelmingly pricey either from what I can tell. So I don't know if we're gonna make it to all the way to a three hour stream because I don't just wanna sit here for 10 minutes. You guys let me know. Probably not. I think we'll call it right now. Ah. Awesome. Oh, all right, I'm probably not gonna get up from here. <laughs> Let me flip this around and say a proper goodbye. All right, everybody, hope you really had a lot of fun. We'll tilt it this way, you can see the river. There we go. Hope you had a lot of fun on the stream today. I had a blast with all of you. It was a lot of fun. Um, and if you are new here and you're watching the video back, please, 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 Make sure that you like and subscribe. Um, everybody, all the regulars who were in the chat today, had so much fun with you. Thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow we're driving south and we're gonna head down the coast of Florida to St. Augustine. Um, so live stream tomorrow from St. Augustine, Florida. Make sure you join. Uh, I've been to St. Augustine once, gosh, 10 years ago, 20 years ago? I don't even know, a long time ago. Um, but uh, we'll do a live stream and explore downtown St. Augustine tomorrow, try and find the lighthouse. Um, and I think there's an old fort from the, the days uh, when the Spanish were in America. So we'll see, but we'll have a lot of fun. Everybody, thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate it. I hope you have a uh, wonderful, wonderful day. I'm gonna explore the waterfront here a little bit more and have a lovely lunch. And then I'm gonna get on the road. Um, so everybody, Bye-bye. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends.